Let's talk about the seven deadly sins. Not this one. Ah, yes. This one. The seven sins of memory. Let's start with transience. A sin of omission that occurs naturally and often without effort. It reflects the tendency of memories to weaken over time. Transience can be likened to the sin of sloth. A sin characterized by a lack of effort. Though more than sinful laziness, it may also involve neglecting to do something even more deeper. Enter Harley Quinn, the furry king who embodies the sin of sloth. He is often depicted as lazy, levitating or lounging instead of acting. For centuries, Harley Quinn wandered with no memory of himself. I think the anime states that he experienced the trauma that led to his memory loss. But his forgetting mirrors the essence of transience itself. Research shows that forgetting happens most rapidly in the first few minutes, hours, days and weeks before leveling off into more stable general themes. In diary studies and workplace research, people tend to recall recent events in vivid details, but a week later they tend to remember only the typical activities of the workday. Similar studies of Thanksgiving memories show that while people held on to general features, specific details such as clothing or conversations disappear quickly. This generalization is partly due to interference from subsequent similar experiences. Like Harley Quinn, memory sometimes turns inwards. It conserves energy by letting the final details of an experience fade, preserving only the routines or generalized aspects of events, the lessons or associating emotions. To guard against the sin of transience, the antidote is the depth of encoding, which implies connecting new experiences to existing knowledge or prior understanding. What we elaborate, we preserve. What we skim, we tend to lose. Though it can be seen like a flaw, Daniel Schachter emphasizes that transience is not purely a weakness. It reflects an adaptive feature of memory, preserving only what is essential for future understanding. And so, 